Right. Okay, um, with the cable crossover, um, I always try to make mine real pure, um, pure flexion, okay, as we're coming in here. So what some people do is they'll put the, the pulleys up high and they'll pull down like this. Now understand this, as this arm gets pulled down, you get more lat recruitment, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll take it a lot of the times and I'll bend over or at least lean forward to where I'm lined up just like this or some sort of version thereof. So as I'm mm -hmm. here, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna step forward so that when my arms is fully stretched out, mm -hmm. I got tension on them. So here mm -hmm. I have tension, right. but if I could try to go from here, there's no tension here, so you're losing some of its effect. So stepping forward, got my tension here, yeah. boom, squeeze right in there, making sure I meet in the middle with this one because the cable crossover, the way that it is, it has tension here, mm -hmm. where the flies, when you do um, regular flies, regular dumbbell flies, you don't have tension here. Most of the tension is here, and it disappears by the time the hand gets straight up above the shoulders. So, I'm in here, just like that, making sure I'm um, equal between the two pulleys, or even between the two pulleys with my stance. And I'm bringing that right down in here. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing you got to worry about is when you're when you're doing your when you're actually moving. What a lot of people do is they let the elbows drop. Okay. When you let that elbow drop, that's a weird force being pulled down on you. And if that gets pulled down weird, that's on your shoulder. So you're kind of creating a situation where you could be damaging your shoulders or even your elbow joints. Okay. So as I grab these, you'll see that I always point my elbows um, to where they're also horizontal with my body. See, I don't let them drop like that. Yeah. When that hand gets above that elbow, I get that elbow above the hand, okay? So you lock it out. Well, not lock, it's not so much a lockout. It don't have to be a lockout. Okay. But you just want it, you just, like I said, you just don't want that hands. If I'm here, my hands are above that elbow. Okay. You know, with the pull, force pulling it back, yeah. bad. But the bad. elbow above the hand, you're safe, you okay. know? Okay, okay. You know, at least from that, you know, okay. from, from the joints. I mean, you could overstretch. Sure. 33, 33. Yeah, you can overstretch your pecs, which is a different deal, but you're not going to hurt your joints. You okay. know, so, yeah, and another thing, as I take this off, you notice I'll always put my weight on it, pull it off first, yeah, yeah. and then walk it forward. Okay. 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 So now that I'm in here, it's another way of protecting my joints. That's good.